A lush green forest lines the Indus River Delta, where it merges with the Arabian Sea near Karachi. This mangrove on Pakistan's longest river is home to a rich ecosystem, but it's under threat. In the 1930s, it covered some 600,000 hectares. Today, just 100,000. Most of the mangrove has been cut down for firewood, the loggers undeterred by patrolling activists. I sell this one bundle for as little as 20 rupees, 10 rupees. It is a very small income. For such a small return, these men are risking fines of several hundred dollars. It's illegal to cut down the mangrove, which is protected in Pakistan. Protected only in theory. On top of the damage done by small-scale loggers, large industrial plants are also flouting the law. It should be much better saved from cutting. It should be better protected. It's a safeguard. It is beneficial for our country. If we were in another country, it would have been worshipped. I don't know why they are cutting it here. Stupidity. They are emptying other people's stomachs to fill their own. The mangrove acts as a natural defence against the elements and, according to experts, is vital to the Pakistani coastline and to Karachi in particular, home to 20 million people. The big tsunami in 1945 and this may occur because we are living right at the junction of two plates and uh, there is, we had this uh, earthquake, two of them. So if any of them in the sea, if the epicenter is in the sea, then it can generate a, a tsunami. And if tsunami is generated, the most severely affected area would be the Indus Creek area. The regional economy is also under threat. Fishermen who export most of their catch are hit by the knock-on effects of mangrove destruction. If it's cut down like this, then of course it's dangerous for us, for our environment. And these mangroves are nurseries for fish and shrimps. They lay their eggs and give birth here, and the fish also grow here. But there is hope. Things are slowly changing thanks to the work of environmentalists. And over the past decade, the mangrove has been reclaiming its territory little by little.